do you travel with a guitar? I have a guitar. This is my Showalter OM. This is a guitar that I made with my own hands with my friend Steve Showalter. It is an incredibly cool and unique guitar. It is pretty much irreplaceable. I mean, this is the only one in the universe like this. But I'm about to get on a plane and fly across the country with this guitar, and I want to show you, can you travel with guitars? What's it like? How do you fly with a guitar? I am headed to a family funeral of a dear, a very close family member, and um, they were around when this guitar was made. And the first person I played this guitar for when it was done was uh, this guitar and that person. Um, and so... If, if you believe that guitars mean something, this one means the world to me, and it uh, meant the world to her. So, let's, um, let's pack this thing up. Now, I'm going to put it into my regular TKL hard case, and I'll show you. This is a really nice double arch, arch top, arch back. This is about as nice of a TKL case as you can get. And uh, I have called ahead to the airline. I've told them that it's coming. They still told me, we cannot commit that it will not be checked. And I've, I've just said, it, it really can't be checked. Like, please don't check my guitar. I want you to know that it's coming. The flight is not at capacity. Uh, and uh, so, let's see, 2023, can you still fly with a guitar? Then once you gotta hold on me She's the warmth of the summer, the color of the spring She's the strongest wind, the calmest breeze And once you gotta hold on That girl, she's like the finest wine Complex heart and I don't mind That girl, she's like the finest one That girl, she's like the finest one Now drink until my heart is full Honey, you drink me and I drink you We made it on the flight, actually it's been two days. Should you fly with a guitar? Yeah, you should, but here's one of the main requirements. If you are a person that is able to stand up for your rights to uh, push past uh, every step of the way, um, you can fly with a guitar. So here's what happened to me. Jumped on the plane, had my family, uh, came on, I, I asked to board early, and they let me board early, because you do have, there are, there are some laws, there are some rules. I'll put some links in the description below. But I came up and I said, hey, I have a guitar coming with me. I cannot check it. And they said, are you sure you can't check it? I can check it easily. I'll check it for free to your final destination. And I said, no, I need this guitar to stay with me in the same uh, climate. I don't want it to be under the plane. I don't want it to get very cold. And they said, okay, well, this flight does not have a captain's quarter, does not have any storage. Can you put it under the seat in front of you? And I showed them. Like, this is a guitar. It's a full-size guitar. It is an exception um, to the rule. And uh, can I please, please put this on the plane? They said, well, um, you could put it on in an overhead compartment, but our flight is full. And I said, okay, um, can I get on the plane first? Can I, can I load in early? And uh, I do have two somewhat aces up my sleeve. I do technically have a disability with my heart condition, and I did have little kids with me. All right, it all happened so fast. I'm on the plane. We had to tie it to a bulkhead in between first class and economy, but it worked out. We're on the plane. It's interesting, you have to fight. That's the whole thing, like, can you fly with a guitar? Yes, you gotta be willing to, to stick up for yourself pretty adamantly each time. We also had to ask to board early. So anyway, I've lost a year off my life. Overall, should you travel with a guitar? Uh, yes, you should. If it's a guitar, like this guitar needed to come with me. This is my show, Walter. Like I said, this is an incredibly special guitar, and this is a really important moment. We came down here because there's a funeral in the family, and it was last night. It was my mother-in-law. 
And um, she was the first person I showed this guitar to. So it made sense that this would be, it, it, this was the only one that really made the most sense for me to play this guitar. So if you are like me, and if you watch this channel, I think that we're pretty similar in some regards. I think that guitars matter a lot. And I think that, um, yeah. I sure I could have used plenty of other guitars. I could have borrowed a nameless Takamini from somebody around here, I'm sure. But I didn't. I wanted to bring a show Walter because I built that guitar and I showed that to her. So, uh, yeah. If you have a strong sense of advocacy, you can do it. It is still stressful. And especially to add that to all of the stress of, I'm coming here for a funeral. Um, it's a very special guitar that I really, really don't want broken. And then you combine that with, I'm also traveling with kids. And traveling with kids is always... Uh, driving versus flying, you get the same amount of stress. You, just, you know, do you want it packed into four hours, or do you want it, you know, spread out over twelve? And uh, so it ended up just being, yeah, it was a lot. Still not out of the woods. I got to fly home tomorrow. But uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, thanks to uh, every one of my patrons and channel members. Thanks to all of you. I'll put all of them up here. Thanks patrons, thanks channel members, and uh, thanks Steve for helping me build this guitar. If you haven't seen the video series on me building this guitar, uh, you should see it. Uh, this guitar has become a faithful friend and um, a good traveling partner. I'm going